Hi, this is Irene Jones and I'm from the Child Welfare Specialty Insurance Program with Marshall and Sterling Insurance. And today we're going to talk about how you can avoid losing children in your care, custody, and control. It really seems unbelievable that anybody could go out on a field trip or on an outing and come back with less children than they left with. But it does happen. Every time it happens, it's and in the news, it's a shocker, um, but it bears repeating some of the fundamentals of how we can prevent this. And the first thing is really simple, head counts. You want to make sure that you know how many people are in your group and that you know who they are specifically by name. If you're going out with a large group and you have different chaperones to, uh, assigned to uh, a group of children, you want to make sure each of those chaperones know who's in their group. And they should be doing counts when you leave the center, when you get on the bus, when you get off the bus, when you get to the destination, at checkpoints throughout the day. Constantly doing your, your, uh, your head counts and your name counts to make sure that you have everybody who uh, is in your care, custody, and control. Another thing that you should be doing is keeping your information with you on the children um, when you go on an outing. So you want to keep at your, uh, at your main center, your organization, with you on the bus and then also with you with your group leader. Um, child information such as uh, parent contact name, emergency contact information, any allergies, things like that. So that if something does happen, you know who to contact. Now, if a child gets lost, what should you do? Um, the first thing that you should do is just basically keep your whole group together and assign one person to uh, search for the child. After they do an exhaustive search, um, if they are finding that they still cannot locate that child, then you should um, take anyone who is not absolutely necessary to maintain your staff to child ratios have them join the search with the lead searcher and notify the police to also search with you. That way you're using um, maximum capacity to look for the child. Then, you know, it goes back to the fundamentals, um, making sure you're counting children, making sure you know who's your in care, custody, and control, and having a plan of decisive action in event uh, an incident does occur. The worst thing that could happen is that you lose a child and then not notice it. There was a recent incident in New York City where they didn't notice for hours that they lost a two-year-old. That's really unacceptable. Um, I think a lot of people who have been um, working with children for a long time understand that they can go out of I don't know, eyes reach for a little bit, but to not know where someone is for hours is clearly negligence. So it's really important to go over the basics with your staff to encourage them um, to keep these headcounts and to encourage them to talk about it with each other so that the kids are safe.